Right now, there are a lot of concerns after one of Atlanta's level one trauma centers announced it's closing. And so now several lawmakers are looking for solutions for everyone uh, in Metro Atlanta so you don't lose out on any level of care when that moment happens. So just today, Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock sent a letter to the CEO of Wellstar saying in part that this potential closure will strain Atlanta's already stretched thin health care system and jeopardize Atlanta's access to care. It will be doing, he, I will be doing, according to him, I will be doing everything in my power to stop this closure. Atlanta Medical Center's closing is actually part of a nationwide trend. Yeah, rural hospitals have been impacted most, but dozens have also closed in big cities like Atlanta in the last decade or so. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live at Atlanta Medical Center with more. An analyst I talked to who researches this sort of thing calls the healthcare economy the survival of the fattest. Atlanta Medical Center is closing at least in part because its inner city clientele couldn't support it economically. Contrast that with Emory Healthcare, rooted in a prestigious teaching hospital with clinics reaching deep into Atlanta's wealthy suburbs. The bigger uh, teaching hospitals have a large uh, advantage in reputation. Alan Sager at Boston University has tracked hospital closings in nearly every major city in America since 2010. He says the hospitals that do the best job of reaching wealthier and better insured patients are the ones most likely to survive. The well insured patients from higher income suburbs will come into a city to the major teaching hospital, but not to the lower reputation one. Sager says teaching hospitals also have fewer staffing issues and lots of medical students to help when human resources are in a pinch. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens says he expects to meet with leaders of this hospital next week in a faint hope to try to keep it open. In Northeast Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.